we've just learned new details into the death investigation of a Jewish man after a demonstration. His funeral is also being held today. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel is live in Thousand Oaks with the latest. Jaysha. Giovanna Phillip, I just got out of that press conference on the latest into the investigation of 69-year-old Paul Kessler, who died. And we've just learned that a 50-year-old suspect was uh, detained, excuse me, and a search warrant was conducted, but that suspect was released. And I want you to take a look at this video on your screen. You can see 69-year-old Paul Kessler on the ground, bleeding from his head as paramedics help him. Now, the sheriff's department says that there were dueling rallies on Sunday, pro-Israeli and pro Palestinian at Thousand Oaks and Westlake Boulevard. Now they say it's believed that Kessler got into an argument with a pro Palestinian demonstrator and fell and hit his head. The Ventura County Sheriff says it's unclear what exactly happened during the altercation, but they say the 50 year old suspect cooperated and remained at the scene. The suspect said he was one of the people that called the police. The sheriff says witnesses provided conflicting statements on what exactly happened, and the sheriff's department is not releasing any names at the moment. But we have learned today that Kessler was conscious at the hospital, but listed in critical condition and unfortunately yesterday died because of his injuries. The Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office has determined Kessler's death to be a homicide caused by blunt force head injury, and the Sheriff's Department says they're looking into the possibility of his death being a hate crime. We urge you to remain calm, peaceful, and patient. We understand that you may have questions and concerns, but we ask that you allow us to conduct our investigation and we will provide updates as soon as we can. We also ask that you refrain from spreading rumors or spreading misinformation on social media or other platforms, as that can not only hinder our investigation, but it can cause unnecessary panic in our community. We found out today that Kessler did have injuries to the side and back of his head, and we're told that the lethal injury that eventually he did die from was actually behind his head. The sheriff also said that there are extra patrols happening in both Jewish and Muslim communities. Live in Thousand Oaks, Jaysha Patel, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC 7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC 7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.